when people ask, like, do you do journalism anymore? Do you do journalism anymore? I say, yes, I'm, I'm always doing it. I'm just doing it in a different, different medium, different type of storytelling. So take a step back. I'm Tommy Carroll. I'm a, a local drummer, musician, producer here in Chicago. But music was the thing that I always found myself spending time on and really finding purpose. Like I, I was a journalism major uh, in college. After a while, I just kind of realized that it's, it's what I need to be doing. And you know, since this this year, I started pursuing my music full time. The album I released, not amazing. Uh, dropped that in January this year, 2017. But it was really a culmination of both feelings and musical concepts I was working on, like getting at this thing that I haven't seen much art, art directed at yet, social, emotional complexities of being someone in society who has a, a disability, not amazing, tackles my internal monologues as a blind person living in the 21st century. Every time in my life that I've done something, it could have been learning to skateboard, like competing on like the track team in, in high school or whatever. It's always been like, that's so amazing, that's so amazing. People aren't gonna realize like how much strength or effort you're exhibiting. I just need to start by combating this like very, very base level human instinct or societal con condition based thing that people do of just being like totally awestruck. Going against this this blanket inspiration porn term, amazing. Just getting going to my gig, you know, around the corner, I wrote some charts and like my, you know, my band's coming in, like, you know, you should come check it out. And they'll just be like, oh. like total cognitive dissonance. Like, it's just so beyond them. So, so not amazing is just first chipping away at this idea of like, I'm out and about and it's fine. It's normal, like, don't get all blubbery about it. I think I was most drawn to the drums because drums are the, the energetic heartbeat of what's going on. You can, you can convey a lot more to a less initiated ear, which I think both, I think, I think pursuing musical complexity and, and, and excellence on your instrument is great, but that's why I'm drawn to drums and also doing a lot of synthesizer programming. I'm working on getting better at my actual keyboard playing. Drummers get a bad rap, but I think there's really a lot more emotion in the instrument than people think. I would say there's can be more emotion, or at least as much, in the drums as like a piano or something. I think for other people with disabilities, my, my best advice of, it is about building community in the end, but you do need to learn, learn to stand for yourself first and on your own terms. I am who I am, I do these things and it's enough. It's, it's a, it, you have to realize that like wherever you're at is enough. You still have time. Almost no one in my immediate vicinity is going to understand this. So I've just got to realize that like they might not see this, but I know deep down that what I'm doing is what's best, what's best for me in the long run. I'm not a man.